Good morning. It is the walk to Musha today. Um, I guess yesterday was also the walk to Musha. Um, but I stayed in Lirius last night and I am about 15 kilometers away. So this truly is going to be a short stage. Um, yesterday was actually supposed to be a short stage, but I took all of these like extra detours you know i started by walking out to the lighthouse and then i detoured to a beach and then last night i walked out to the beach in lyres which was almost two kilometers away and so in the end i walked over 28 kilometers yesterday and like there was a lot of elevation gain too so that was actually yeah, a very decent <laughs> day on the camino not an easy day not a rest day so this I mean, this technically isn't a rest day because I'm still walking, but I really am only walking 15 kilometers. And then in Musha, I'll, I'm sure I'll walk around, but um, I'm gonna get there early, which I'm actually looking forward to. Um, I have an albergue booked, and I think even though Musha isn't my ending, like it's not my final stop on this Camino, it kind of feels almost a bit like the final destination of like this kind of like big continuous journey you know I walked to Santiago and then the walks to Finisterre and Musha are kind of like the coda to a Camino it's like the bonus at the end not every pilgrim does it and so it's much more quiet but it is kind of this continuation on from Santiago um I really wanted to end in Musha, so I've been to both Finisterre and Musha before, but on separate Caminos, I've never been to both on the same Camino. Uh, and I really like both, but for different reasons. And Musha is a more quiet and calm place, and so I really wanted to sort of end there. Um, so I'm looking forward to being there. I didn't get a lot of time to explore the last time I walked there because I <laughs> was in 2015. I did the walk from Santiago to Musha in two days and my walk into Musha was like a 52 kilometer day. The only time I've ever walked that long, I won't walk that long again unless I have to. So I didn't have a lot of time there. Um, so I'm looking forward to having more time today. And then after that, I do think I'm gonna try walking back to Santiago. I still <laughs> really feel like I don't wanna get on a bus. For now, I am still walking. <laughs> And as ever, that feels really good. It is gonna be really hard to pick up on the video, but you know, I've been climbing a bit and i looked ahead on this road let me stop oh it's so hard to see so it is pretty foggy but let's zoom in i was like really startled can you see the wind turbine i saw this like thing swooshing through the sky i was like what is that oh then i realized it's a wind turbine <laughs> from the path of the Camino just a little bit so that I could walk down to a little beach here. I think, hopefully, I'm not going to be stuck hmm, <laughs> on the wrong side of that stone wall. We'll see what happens when I get down there. Well, I got over the wall. That wasn't too hard. However, <laughs> not recommended. Shouldn't be crossing through a field where you shouldn't be, but um, there actually is see behind me there you can't really see it here but there is a road i just have to like go back up there that's where the camino route is and there's a nice road that see where that car is i can just go up that road to get back to the camino so i totally could have just stayed on the camino route and then come down on that road rather than cutting over early thought i was being smart <laughs> and saving a little walking but 
ended up going through the field where I shouldn't have been. But anyway, I think there is a path here that's gonna lead to this little beach and I'll go check it out. So the path of the Camino, I'm back on it now, runs right up here on the road, but it's right along the coast and it has nice views down. So I would say, unless you know it's a beautiful day and you just wanna stop and hang out on the beach or walk around, it's not necessarily worth it to detour down there. Um, I didn't even end up walking on the beach at all just because, well, a little lazy and I just didn't feel like getting sand in my shoes or taking off my shoes so I just kind of went down got a cl slightly closer look stood kind of above the beach um, and then came back up so I would say yeah unless you really want to take a break on that beach it's probably more worthwhile to just take in the views as you're walking along. Coming around, you can see down over 